Okay, our goal for the mission, and this has been reported to the test supervisor, Bill Shet. In an age of both knowledge and ignorance, the greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come, but condense, if you will, the 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of about a half a century. We know very little about the first 40 years, except at the end of it, advanced man had learned to use the skins of animals. Then about 10 years ago, under this standard, man emerged from his caves. Only five years ago, man learned to write. Christianity began less than two years ago. The printing press came this year. And then less than two months ago, during this whole 50 year span of human history, the steam engine provided the source of power. Nuke explored the meaning of gravity. Last month, electric bus and telephone and automobiles and airplanes became available. Only last week, we developed penicillin and television and nuclear power. And now, if America's new spacecraft succeeds. We will have literally reached the sun before midnight tonight. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Christ play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. Thank you. 